Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the review on what's happening in France and the Netherlands which is not a second review vi video I'm not as I said already in the Austria Germany one uh, you will not get all five I will probably do only three or four a week and you know for some it will be that I have to cover two or three weeks I'm quite likely not gonna do one for uh, the Sp uh, Spain and Portugal this week because we have pretty big game coming up and there was not too much happening otherwise so there you go but I think there I almost was about to skip this one here uh, but there was just too much happening that actually deserves uh, to be talked about you saw it in the headline the booze were raining down us out the wrath of the people hits the big stars from Paris after the disastrous performance. Uh, it was not a disastrous performance. After disastrous 30 final minutes in Madrid, uh, where the whole Champions League dream fell apart in a rather, rather embarrassing manner. And yeah, my people let them know. The Parisian fans are not happy. And from what I hear, PSG are basically the butt of all jokes in France at this moment, and deservedly so. Uh, what has to be said as well. The other huge team in these two countries, of course, is Ajax, who had two very rough weekends. Twice a win, twice it needed more or less last minute goals, twice this one of the two nil lead. I'm getting nervous about that game um, that they have uh, <laughs> in midweek against Benfica, because I'm not sure if uh, Ajax can hold on uh, to, to that. And, you know... Um, are they hitting the skids at the wrong moment? Admittedly, they have not been all that great for quite a while. So uh, we got to see. Uh, but on the other side, uh, PSV keeps up the pressure as well. So um, we still have very much a title race in the Netherlands. And this is where I actually want to star, star as well. And we have to actually start, you know, in the uh, Dutch Cup, which I don't think I've mentioned so far. And we have to also talk about the French Cup, I think. Uh, in the Dutch Cup, we have the dream final. Uh, Ajax beat AZ and then PSV uh, away from home, the go-ahead Eagles, so the 17th of April. We have the top up for the third time. Will PSV for once win it? We gotta see, but uh, that's the big final. Then um, we're talking now the previous weekend. So this is the weekend starting 4th of March to 6th of March. We actually started with a scandal. Sparta Rotterdam had a lead and Sparta Rotterdam is a team in trouble. Had a lead at uh, Vitesse, um, a lead that was very much held up by the goalkeeper, the goalkeeper who saved the pen, uh, uh, penalty and had some further miracle saves. And when in the 92nd minute, suddenly fa a fan came onto the field, uh, field and berated that particular goalkeeper, which in the end uh, meant that the game had to be abandoned. Uh, as of now, there is no, ru as no ruling that I'm aware of. I mean, I uh, checked yesterday and it's still not clear, but I would expect anything but a win for Sparta, which they probably would have gotten anyway, would be a travesty there. Um, I already said it, uh, Ajax had a 2-0 uh, lead against Valweig at the halftime. Uh, right after that, Valweig comes back, makes a 2-2 and a Tadic goal in the 90th minute. Uh, uh, gives Ajax the win. Um, they were a teeny bit under pressure because PSV beat already Heracles. Uh, Groningen still in a point at Feyenoord. Although Feyenoord at the moment, I think third place for them is sort of sick, secure. Maybe they are going for your uh, European run. Um, and then this past week, weekend, I mean, the game uh, of that week, weekend must have been uh, Groningen against uh, Nijmegen. And you see the 4 3 win so that's always uh e e exciting and a, a win where running it twice had had, had had the lead and at the half nine making um were leading three three two and then very late late on in the last 10, 10 minutes uh, Postema scores the two goals uh, to give running and the win so a rather exciting match there again ajax two nil lead 2-2 and then in stoppage time, I think it was Grafenberg who gives Ajax the win. Um, PSV Ut against Utrecht, a rather uh, rough and tough, tough win, and then Feyenoord uh, against Zwolle. AZ lose, losing home, home to 20, also losing a little bit the momentum. So um, just uh, having a glance over the standings, 
I mean, up top, nothing really changed. Ajax still 80% chance of winning. Feyenoord rather steady for this third spot. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't think so. We have 63 Ajax, 61 PSV, we have 55 Feyenoord, and then AZ and Twente with 51, and Vitesse with 41 is already a good uh, jump back, but this is with the game that was abandoned, which was probably gonna count against them. So it's pretty clear it's all red teams on top on top of there and I still have only red red and white teams there but I have I have ordered a shirt hopefully it will come uh, soon there and then of course we have a pretty big match coming on the weekend uh, the Classica between Ajax and Feyenoord where PSV uh, will play against Sita so we could actually be in a situation where uh, either Ajax and PSV are tied on top of the table or even PSV take, taking the lead it does not seem inconceivable, especially if Ajax have a hard Champions League match. But then on the other side, Feyenoord also have to play Parkinson, although that one is probably a little bit more of a walk in the park. Okay, going from the Netherlands a little bit further south to France. The big story is, of course, that PSG, uh, not only did they lose in Madrid, they actually, I mean, they saved so much of the energies uh, in the game against um, Nice. A game that actually I was lying uh, sick on the couch. I had the game g g g game on, and it. Admittedly, I didn't feel well. I needed to sleep. I fell asleep, and then suddenly I hear goal, and I saw the goal. Uh, absolute uh, beautiful goal. Uh, it has, has, it has to be said. Uh, I scored for Nice. I think what was it? Uh, just let me. Just let me check the. Uh, it, 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 it was an absolute stunner, but it was also very, 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 very clear that uh, PSG really didn't uh, need the points. They wanted to save themselves for for Madrid de Loa. It was. Uh, so yeah, um, Saint-Étienne getting a big win over Metz, I think is a, is a notable re result. I have for some reason the Cathedral duel between Reims and Strasbourg won one, but you know, since I'm wearing Rennes, Rennes have been on a really tear again, um, a, a tunnel against Angers, and then uh, past weekend they also had a big win, we'll talk about that in a sec. Uh, Lille with a big win over Clermont Foot, and then Monaco, uh, one nil away to Marseille, you know, and that kind of meant that Marseille is losing their grip on the second place that they seemingly had. Also a team on the slide, but you know, uh, in France, especially after PSG, it is always a top topsy turvy uh, thing, which is exemplified by Lille playing only a nil nil against Saint Etienne. Yes, probably they saved themselves for Chelsea, but still, those doesn't look good. The Nice dropping points in more PA. Well, it's at the start of Le Mousson is probably a, a place where you can drop points. Uh, but the big story is PSG against Bordeaux. And it's not that PSG won 3-0 through uh, goals from Mbappé, the only player that I think that, that, that did not get, get booed. Neymar, who received multiple um, boos. And then I think Paredes, uh, whose substitution in Madrid in also changed a little bit the outcome of that, that game. Beautiful goal there. Um, but every time Neymar and Messi touched the ball, uh, they were booed and whistled. And then uh, after the game, even, I mean, the the ultras even uh, were not uh, in the stands for a good portion of the of, of, of the game. They want Leonardo out. They will even want um, what is it, uh, the Al Khalifi out. Uh, just a complete reorientation of the of, of of the team. And to be honest, I have been defending Messi for quite a while, but it has to be said this is the first normal season that we see from him and this is not what the Parisians were expecting and I think we are now at a point in the season where it also seems not quite uh, reasonable to defend him anymore uh, that much yes new team he needs new years I don't think he was always used uh, that well but still it cannot be it just cannot be and I think Messi and Neymar no one in Paris wants to see them anymore enough of those Honestly, funny thing, I saw a PSG shirt with Hakimi, but in full Champions League uh, get up uh, the other they already sold for 40, 40 euros. They, those where people were, se were selling them for a pretty uh, lot of money, then now this is going to be cheap jerseys. 
in many ways. So this is how how, how it goes. The Parisians not happy. Not happy should also be uh, fans of Monaco losing at Strasbourg. But you know, you see Strasbourg is up there. They are also having a pretty good good run and clawing themselves up there. Uh, and of course, Lyon again uh, is this team. You win at Porto. And then you lose at home to start Ren, uh, an absolute stunner of a result. Yes, uh, Ren did not play midweek, but uh, still got to be said, this is not uh, up to Lyon's standard. Lyon definitely is one of the best teams. Uh, and you know, it was already 4 0 before uh, Lyon could pull some goals back. So, absolute running riot of the Bretons there. And then I saw a little bit of Brest against Marseille, uh, which very, very early on went Marseille's way. Um, as I said, I mean, Stanix, we know who's going to be challenged champions. I mean, they still have 15 points because uh, there is no real challenge there as it was last season. But at the moment, it's again Marseille ahead of Nice. But uh, they are very much level there. Um, I think the Rennes, Strasbourg, Lille not. That's a bit so surprising. Monaco only in eighth spot. Uh, Lance, who had a pretty good last season, are uh, in ninth, and Abant Lyon only in tenth spot. But speaking of Monaco, I forgot about the Coupe de France, which already was played on the 1st and 2nd of March, so that should be a bit later. Monaco lost on, in a penalty. That's the only thing I saw from that game. Uh, to not, it was a 2 2 game. Nice had, uh, before that, beaten Versailles. I expectedly already 2 0, so with Nice against Nantes in the French Cup final. I think that's an interesting Cup final. So, yeah, um, maybe I sh maybe it, it's reason enough to go for a Nice jersey rather, rather soon. Uh, on the upcoming games, we have Marseille against Nice. Also, a pretty big matchup there in Monaco against PSG. So, uh, also just before the international break, and Nantes against Lille is a much better game than it seemed to be at the beginning of the season. In any case, please let me know what you thought about the happenings in the Netherlands and France. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click that little bell, so in order to stay updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. With that, have a good day.